Hey, that thing looks like a bar chart, doesn't it? Well, there's a technical difference between a bar chart and what we're going to learn, which is called a histogram or a frequency chart. Let's take a look. Over on the right, you see a long list of data, and this data is going to represent the number of times people compulsively check their phone during an hour. So, for example, this first data piece of a four means that person checked their phone four times during a one-hour stretch. This, these two people had superhuman powers and checked their phones one or zero times during that hour stretch. But look at this poor sap down here. Eleven times during the hour they felt the compulsive need to check their phone. So we have this list of data, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a pretty picture called a histogram or a frequency chart. So let's get artistic and turn this into a picture. So I've made a line or an axis, and in the axis I've created different categories. This first category is 0, 1, and 2, standing for the number of people who check their phone 0, 1, or 2 times during this uh, one hour stretch. And then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If that's not making sense, this will. This person checked their phone four times during the hour, and this is the category for three, four, or five checks, so I would simply put an X there. Now I've taken care of that person. This person checked their phone once. I put them in the category of zero, one, and two, and we just keep doing this, and I keep building, or basically taking this data piece and putting it into the category. So as I go through this entire list of data, eventually I will have filled in each one of these data pieces into each one of these categories. Magically, I've jumped to the finish. So it turns out I have two people who have checked their phones 9, 10, or 11 times during the uh, one hour interval. And it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people who check their phone either six or seven or eight times during the hour. So it's important to know that any one of these people checked either six or seven or eight times during that hour. So we've taken the list and started to convert it into our histogram, and now we're going to take this very basic one and pretty it up, and then we're going to be finished. So right below this is the prettied up version, and let's take a look. I'm going to now have a y-axis along with my x-axis. The y-axis represents the number of students. So there were one, two, three, four, five, six students in this category. So my bar is going to go up to six. So I have six students who check their phone between zero and three times. So I took this zero, one, and two and said basically this spans the, the uh, number of checks of zero, one, and two. There were four students, so the bar goes up to four, who check their phone between three and six times. So it just gets a little bit awkward because this 6 belongs in this category, just like this 3 belongs in this category and this 0 belongs in this category. So you will sometimes see a histogram labeled along this x-axis like this, but it probably makes more sense for people to label it like this. Just be prepared to see it like that. So now, when I look at a histogram, I'm probably going to be presented with just this. I wouldn't see this, and I may not even see the list of data. So if I look at this, I can say, oh, there are, this bar goes up to two. So there are two students who check their phones between about nine and 12 times during the hour. This bar goes up to seven. So I can say there are seven students who check their phone between six and nine times during the hour. So the big picture is when you're making a histogram or a frequency chart, you're basically taking a long list of data and turning it into a pretty picture. And the purpose is this pretty picture is easier for people to understand than a big glob of numbers. It's no more complicated than that.